Good morning guys. I am on my way to Tortuga Island. We're gonna go on this little boat across and then we're gonna go snorkeling and then we have some free time on Tortuga Island and then we go to the bioluminescence tour. So I'm excited. We started our day at 5.30, which was very difficult, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Everyone has said how beautiful it is and how cool the experience is. So I'm gonna take you along today. Um, yeah no surfing no bumps and bruises as so far anyway very exciting oh god there's water and i've got birkenstocks on okay fine that's absolutely fine <laughs> guys from Tortuga Island it's really cloudy today but still very hot I've been I've got snorkel hair I've been snorkeling which was so fun um, and then Laura saw a jellyfish and scared us all so we got out <laughs> I thought this is classic me that Tortuga Island meant we we're gonna see turtles today when in actual fact what I'm about to show you is why it's called Tortuga Island because <laughs> this is why it's called Tortuga Island. So this is the turtle head, this is the turtle shell, and this is the turtle arm. So that is why it's called Tortuga Island, because it looks like a turtle. It's so beautiful here, honestly. And this tour that I'm on is with a provider called Original Travel, and I'm actually doing a job with them for Instagram. But it has been so far amazing and seamless. Hi guys. We have been snorkeling and we've spent lots of time at the beach and then um, we've had some lunch and the amazing team have given us a, a glamping tent, like a big safari tent to like come and hang out and chill out in for a few hours before we go on the bioluminescence tour later, which wasn't even on the itinerary, which is just the cutest thing ever, ever. And so kind and everyone's been so lovely and we're it's at, it's called Isla Chiquita. So I'll put a link on for it because it's a really cool place outside, like an hour outside of Santa, Santa Teresa. And this is where you do the, the tours from. And it's, yeah, like it's how nice it is. It's lovely. Lara. Lara's very clean and very happy. She always is the one that rinses off after the sea and I'm always the one that sits here dusty. <laughs> She's like clean angel. <laughs> All right, we're going now because I, we napped a loads, didn't we? But I think, I think there's maybe another nap on the cards. We're tired girls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the shredding. It's all the shredding. <laughs> Hi, little baby. Oh, he's so tiny. Little monkey. Hi guys, from a very dishevelled girl. This is our beautiful tent that they've put us up in for the day. And the three of us have just been lying on a super king bed for the last few hours listening to the rainstorm. Like it's been an amazing like downpour, it's been beautiful. And the monkeys, the baby monkeys, they're so nice. Um, so we're just going to wander and get some food now before the bioluminescence tour. We're going kayaking. We're going to kayak towards it. So it's going to be so nice. Um, and we've just had the most peaceful, calm day. The energy here is just like, whew, and Santa Teresa is like, pfft. so it's been really nice. And I thought it was going to be a bit hectic and a bit of a long day, but we've just honestly we've just been lay there in our towels like sisters. And it's been so gorgeous. And it's really beautiful. Um, like I say, I'm at Isla Chiquita and it's like it's just so special here like it's really pretty um and maybe i can show you more of it actually when we sit down for food because the light's better it's been a bit cloudy today um feeling very lucky that i've had a like an actual like paid job come through for instagram with a travel company whilst i'm in costa rica to do tours in costa rica i'm just like yes <laughs> feels really nice and aligned and like okay yeah i can like spend time here and still work and it's great um and i will put the link on for it here i'm not obligated to but it's just been the most wonderful day like the tour guides everyone's been so helpful the food is great here 
and the tour was so gorgeous like yeah so definitely one for the list if you are coming to Costa Rica Santa Teresa area like I said it's like an hour outside of Santa Teresa but yeah like ah oh, I just love the jungle love the jungle never thought I'd be a person that loved the jungle here we are oh my God. Yeah. It is crucified. <laughs> Hi guys. From someone who's about to do some very cold ice bath work in here. That is four degrees today. And <laughs> then also, which is much colder these <laughs> You might laugh. <laughs> and then the sauna in here. We're doing it at Grist Lodge today, which is a really beautiful um hotel in Santa Teresa so it's going to be exposure therapy extreme cold and extreme heat instead of just an ice bath so I'm looking forward to it and I think I need it today but yeah it's so pretty here it's so pretty you want some water? hi guys we have come to Kabuya to surf this lovely beach here whenever it's big in Santa Teresa we head out it's like 40 45 minutes away here it looks Mid, mid sized glassy, lovely, open, big waves. I'm just not feeling it today. I actually would rather stay in the car, but I know that nobody's gonna let me. So I'm gonna get out there and paddle and just hope for the best. Um, yeah, and it'll be, it'll be good. Just, I don't know, just not feeling myself or feeling the surf today. I just feel like I've got literally like a week left here. Le less than, go on Saturday and it's Wednesday. All my time seems to be, oh my God, that was so big. All my time seems to be planned in because it's stuff that I want to do, but I just feel pulled in lots of different directions. I think I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to really enjoy my last week here. And it's hard, really hard, being hard on myself. I'm not speaking to myself very nicely. <sighs> Maybe the surfing will help. We'll see, I'll report back after, but I hope you're all really good. Um, and I'll speak to you in a bit. guys I hope you're all really well I um, just thought I would come and catch you up on the day really because I was terrible at vlogging I went surfing and it was really good I was like if I just paddle out today that is enough if I just paddle out back and sit there and not even catch one wave that is enough for me today and I felt really good in the water. It was great. Caught quite a few waves. Practiced my cutbacks and my little skills that I'm trying to develop. Um, and really had a lovely session. And we were there until like 6.30 p.m. So it was beautiful. It was dark by the time we got out. And it was just so nice. And then we went to dinner, which I did show you. At this place called The Bakery, which is like so easy and lovely. And they do great pasta for dinner. Um, and salads and stuff so we did that nearby home um, and then just came up and then been chilling and chatting I'm just gonna do a bit of reading and some journaling tomorrow's a really full-on day that I'll try and take you along for I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed um, just with just a difference in pace of life and like a different routine and stuff and it sounds so silly but when the feelings come up in your body the feelings come up in your body and no matter how many times you tell yourself how lucky you are how grateful you are how you know yeah sometimes you feel the way you feel and you just have to work through it sit with it and work through it um yeah uh so yeah just working through some bits like that really which is just life um but tomorrow i've got a couple of hours to myself in the morning which i really can't wait for i'm gonna go down on the quad bike to town do a beach walk in the morning, take myself some breakfast. Then we've got um, me and the girls are doing the surf apnea training, which is basically breathing techniques to help you in a wipeout when you're under the water. So that it it's basically a simulation of a wipeout of you being held under, holding your breath, being able to take, you know, even in the face of panic, to take appropriate breaths and do and, and be calm under the water when you get wiped out and it's quite a bad one 
so it's, it's a good four hour workshop and mentally I'm not prepared but I know that it will do wonders for me especially because I am still nervous about that kind of thing happening with all the wipeouts and the injuries and whatever else so yeah um then then what have we got to do oh then we're going on a night out we say this every Thursday I think I said this last week <laughs> so we're going to attempt anyway we've got a dinner booked oh no then we're going surfing <laughs> we're surfing at four o'clock tomorrow for a couple of hours and then we're going out for dinner and then we're supposed to be going dancing but as I say every Thursday we make this plan and every Thursday we end up in our pyjamas at like 8 o'clock so we'll see how we go but it's our last Thursday here I'm going home on Sunday well I'm going to New York I'm going to see Lizzie actually for a few days on the way home because it's via America anyway so it's perfectly timed and I cannot wait to see her um, so yeah we're gonna we will be out tomorrow night and if, yeah and then Friday and Saturday and then we're off I'm off I'm gone again but I'll be back very soon so it's not it's not too bad um yeah thank you for watching guys and also um my vlog my other vlog just went live from last week and you are just the best i need to sit and reply to you all because you are all so kind <laughs> and thank you thank you honestly so much for su like your support like it's like i said last time it's a vulnerable thing to put yourself on the internet and it's a vulnerable thing to be upset on the internet and to some people being upset over surfing and getting hurt is a privilege and I know it is uh, but the feelings are the feelings and I never want to be ungrateful or not feel so lucky to have this life but yeah you can't please everyone can you um, but I'm very glad to have you all here uh, it's a very special community and today um I, do, I, I, I don't even know if I got a name did I Robin Robin I think it's Robin um I was so startled I was sat having my lunch and a gorgeous woman came up to me and thanked me for my vlogs and said that she loves them and she was in Santa Teresa here on retreat and that like yeah she'd been really enjoying watching me be here and it was just so lovely and it was just really nice to meet her so if it's you thank you very much and I hope you're having a great week in Santa Teresa still I know you're on a yoga retreat um yeah it's just so cool that we have this community and we can be vulnerable and we can share our stories together online and that's all I ever want this place to be I don't you know you're always going to get people that don't agree with you or um like you <laughs> and that's hard but it's life uh so yeah um Thank you all very much. I'm gonna go off. I've still not finished this bloody book. I'm getting there, but honestly, it's a short book, it's only little, but ugh, I feel like it takes me five or 10 minutes to read a page because it's all so, so new to me, it's such a new way of thinking that it, it's taken a while to go in and for me to actually process it. So I have to reread stuff and I'm like, hang on, what is that concept? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to get through it before the end of the week because this is actually Kerry's copy and I need to give it a bat before we leave. Um, I'll we'll have to buy it again and, and just, yeah, carry on. But it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, a lot to get through. Um, so I'm gonna do some reading and then go to sleep. Um, but yeah, thank you all again, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I'll take you along as much as I can. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to think. Hopefully, there's more exciting things happening that I can take you along to. Otherwise, it's me gonna be me talking to you all the time. <laughs> are just on our way to the surf apnea training we had to do some uh, homework this morning watch lots of theory videos about all the surf um hi <laughs> we're late as usual um all the surf like breath holds and stuff so now we're going to do all the practical of it and get in the water and be spun around and practice breathing and all that stuff which is going to be very helpful so i'll report back after but yeah um like i said yesterday not thrilled about having four hours of time to do it but I think it's going to be really really valuable so I'll probably eat my words in four hours time um, but yeah catch up with you in a bit
morning everybody, it is a 4am surf day, it is wildly early but the sun is just rising and the conditions look really good and it's only my second to last surf, last surf tomorrow and then I'm going to New York. So we went out last night and it was so lovely um, but we didn't get in until midnight so we've had four hours kip. So yeah, this is going to be good, we didn't drink but still shattered. Um, feel very lucky to catch the sunrise here, it's just so beautiful. Hi guys, back from surfing. <laughs> it was not my best day, really not my best day. It was, the waves weren't great. I got stung by a jellyfish and yeah, I was just like, do you know what? You've got to know when to give up. And so today, that's what I did. I got, we, we were there for like still a couple of hours, but it was, yeah, just not my favorite. And I'm absolutely shitting myself because tomorrow I'm doing a shoot that's photos and video. And I do not feel c capable or confident about this at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to wish me luck for that. But yeah, um, I also need to tell you about this, the surf apnea course, which was so amazing. Yesterday, it really helped me with like, lots of breath holds and making sure that I can like be calm and like just gave us such a gorgeous positive outlook on it all without panicking when you get wiped out or being under the water for so long when you're held under and stuff you just have to surrender to it and think positive thoughts and go to a happy place and it was a really really fun day um it was yeah really challenging but like fun as well because it was really interesting but yeah um today it's sunny again thank god because it's been cloudy and just having a very slow beach day because we've only got tomorrow and today and then that's it um but yeah we're going out tonight with our surf coaches for dinner we're taking them all for dinner to say goodbye and they've chosen like a really nice little italian restaurant so we're gonna do that after sunset but just a very slow santa teresa day today um, and i hope you all good and i'll catch up with you in a bit very gorgeous slow day so far it's only like i think it's only like 12 12 30 just at the beach because the sun's come back out had i've had quite a few cloudy days um which has still been so hot and humid but not like sunbathing weather so i'm gonna have a couple of hours at the beach i've just done a really lovely meditation i feel really lovely and connected and really grateful for everything and for my last few days here um yeah I'm feeling really good today. I've not felt like myself in the last few days. I felt really challenged. And I, me and all the girls, all of us, just say how much Santa Teresa really makes you confront yourself, things you find hard, things you don't like about yourself, the way that you handle situations. Like, it all comes up. There's so many boundaries that get reached here. And I don't know what it is about this place, but everyone we speak to is having a similar time some very beautiful and positive and some really confronting which are also beautiful and positive but in the moment it feels really sticky and really hard so yeah it's been a weird last week um but very uh, very lucky and grateful nonetheless uh like i said surf was worth getting up for but it wasn't it, i wasn't thrilled i've got a jellyfish sting on the back of my leg as well so i was like Do you know what i'll see you later guys i'm off um so just caught my last wave in and, and yeah and then we went, came home um and yeah, I just had a lot of valuable learning this week. And just, yeah, like, gorgeous. Go it's all gorgeous. It's flipping boiling. I'm gonna go out into the sun with my sun cream on now for like an hour and just have, have a nap and then get back in the shade. And then tonight, well, we've got nothing on all day. And then just tonight we're going out with our surf coaches who we love, who we don't need anymore, but we are struggling to let go of because we just love going all in a big group now. It's so nice. Um, so we're just gonna take them for dinner and say thank you because they've just been a dream. And like, honestly, everything from down to like washing to, uh, they've just been so helpful. Um, and they're just such a, like, they've been such a huge part of our journey here for all of us. So yeah, we're gonna go and say goodbye to them all tonight, which would be so nice. Um, yeah, 
and then we've got surfing so early and like I say I'm doing the surf shoot if the guy get back, gets back to me anyway hopefully he does um, but we'll see see how it goes but yeah I hope you were all really well I just thought I would check in and catch you up but not much apart from beach and chatting today or the last few days to be fair <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you all? I hope you're all really well. Um, I can't remember where I last got up to with you. I've lost track of all things. I am, um, it's all totally fine, but I, last night we went for dinner with, oh, I think I told you about this, we went for dinner with our surf like group and it was so gorgeous. And Kerry and I brought a change of clothes and put all our wet stuff in um, and just stuff we'd had all from the day and we put it in the back of the quad like we always do and we went into dinner and then by the time we got home somebody had stolen it all so we had our valuables on us which is fine um but i am like it's just swim stuff and like stuff that we like obviously but it's just material stuff so it doesn't matter at all but i've had a really hard time processing the fact that they stole my journal just, oh. And like that just literally couldn't be more personal like i've been writing in that thing since january <laughs> but i'm also like maybe it was time to let it go maybe someone else is going to read it and maybe they're going to have some kind of realization or i don't know like wow this girl's really um going through it or whatever but yeah i know there are much bigger more pressing things in the world but just made me feel a bit vulnerable because it's a very very personal thing isn't it when you write down your feelings and your thoughts and I've been doing that for months on end now so yeah it's just a scra scratty scruffy little dusty wet journal that's just mine and um, yeah I don't know one of those things um, but it, I feel better about it today I just I think it's just gonna stink for a bit uh, and I'm fine um, and this morning I got about four for our last surf session and we got to the place, the Kabuya, where we normally go. I've shown you in this uh, vlog as well, like how insane the sunrise was this morning, like I've never seen it like that before, it was perfect. Got to Kabuya, the wind was crazy, you can hear the wind now. Loads of fallen trees are everywhere in the roads and stuff. We actually got trapped at home this morning because of a fallen tree. <laughs> it's, oh, and then there was a scorpion in the house when we got home last night after being robbed. I was like, the brass neck of the universe right now. <laughs> I had to get it out of the house. Um, I've never seen one before, it was weird. Um, yeah, so then we got to Kabuya, the wind was crazy, like I said, and so the waves were absolutely mental and like completely not surfable. So we stood there for like five minutes, um and in our in, and then we drove to another spot called Marazul, which we've never been to before, and oh my god, it was amazing. It was really good. Um, it was just a left, so you can only go left on these waves. It's a rocky point, so it's a bit hairy if the tide goes out. Um, but we had a good couple of hours and it was just beautiful. Sun came up while we were there and there was a photographer and videographer there as well. So uh, I've got lots of content coming my way. Goodness knows what I'm going to look like, but I had fun. So if it's, if, I, if it's like in the right format, I'll put it in the vlog. Um, yeah, I'll just wait, wait and see what it looks like first. But yeah, it was good. I've had such a lovely day so far. I'm just exhausted because we got up so early and I was crying a lot last night. Um, but it's our last day today, so we've just done an ice bath over there with our team. <laughs> it's Kerry drying out. Um, and we're all just going to go over to Somos, have a drink, um, and then just beach day. But it's, it's honestly like roasting. Everyone's indoors, nobody's on the beach, nobody's anywhere because it's like 35 degrees. But it's like dry heat, so you can't get any relief from it. And obviously, it's so gorgeous, but it's like jungle heat. Like it's. 
I never felt heat like it. I, I almost fainted yesterday actually, but it was my own fault because I was sat cooking in the sun, direct sun. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Also, it's a very slow day. We're all really tired. Um, and then we're also getting matching tattoos later to like, I don't know, bind us together forever, even though we'll be friends forever. But yeah, we're really excited. I'll show you later when we've got it done. And then we're just gonna have final dinner out in town. And me and Kerry, we're gonna go to, um, get, go home, get ready for like an evening out, proper evening out, got an outfit ready, everything. But firstly, we don't have it. And secondly, we've moved houses that so we're in town tonight, but it is at the top of the most steep hill you have ever witnessed. So. And we're gonna give our quad back back today. So quad bike back today. So we won't have any transport to get up or down. So we're like, we only, please, we only can do that once. So we're just gonna stay as we are and go as we are. Um, and plus my, all my makeup got stolen. So what you see is what you get. Even my hairbrush is, is gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be arriving to New York tomorrow in such a, such a ratty state. I said to Lizzie, I'm gonna, I just need an hour in town to just like nip to Sephora, nip to like, they even took my flip flops. Like I'm wearing full closed toe leather sandals here because they took my plumbing flip flops. Um, but yeah, I just need like half an hour, an hour in town tomorrow to just get a few bits that I need to replace, which is just annoying, but fine. Anyway, that is a very long update for you. And uh, I'm totally fine. I know that there are better, bigger things happening in the world, but just the journal just got me a bit. Um, but feeling very lucky still and very happy to be here and just emotional actually about leaving is she gonna cry yep um so yeah anyway i will catch up with you later on hello guys i have come to show you the outside Make sure no one's here. this is where we're staying for the night I'm going to show you around. It is unbelievable. It's at the top of the steep hill where it, the ATV and the car gets you up there so easily. It is amazing. Let me show you this view. Yeah. I can't actually cope with how amazing it is here. God, wow! just show you our room as well like I said we're just here for one night um oh god it's so beautiful they've very kindly offered to host me and Kerry for the night before we head home um I wanted to stay longer but we'd already booked our accommodation it's so beautiful you have your own little terrace out here bathroom's really cool oh it's so nice look oh so good This is a second scorpion in as many days in different no. property. How do we? Oh. Maybe I just want to shower. No, we have to shower. No. We're going to get him. We'll just have to take him outside. Bye, little buddy. Good morning, everybody, from a very special apartment in New York. I'm a... Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, I got here late last night from Costa Rica. Um, it's like a six hour, five hour flight or something, which was really easy and lovely. And it's a springy, gorgeous, sunshiny day in New York. And we have a very exciting day today. Firstly, well, obviously I told you I got robbed. So I've got to go, <laughs> I've got to go and replace all my makeup because they took everything. <laughs> um, so I'll go and quickly whiz around Sephora or something and get those bits. And then Elizabeth's doing a shoot with Dior and we're both going to a Dior show today in, tonight in Brooklyn. So it's going to be a very fancy day, from dusty to Dior is what I keep telling myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so unrefined for this, I need a mani and a pedi, but I'm just going to have to roll with it. Um, but a very um, gorgeous, exciting day. I'm here for a few days, I'm just going to do the very best bits of New York with the very best tour guide ever. And I'm going to make her take me to her favourite bookshop so that I can buy some spiritual books um, that you've all been recommending to me. I'm going to start with the four agreements and work my way through the list. Um, yeah, for someone that doesn't read that often. <laughs> This is going to be, it's going to take me all year, I think. <laughs> but um, I hope you're all good and I'll catch up with you later. Gorgeous. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi guys, so from New York. We are doing some lots of shopping because I need to replace all the stuff that was stolen. So we've been to Sephora and I'm now going to replace my untethered soul book that was actually Kerry's copy, God bless her. Um, <laughs> Lizzie is making the most of all the sun because it's so sunny in um, New York today. But it's so gorgeous. So we're going, we're going into this bookshop now to get these books and Lizzie's going to stay on the other side of the road in the sun, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm both stressed and excited because the Dior show is happening tonight. The team are coming over to Lizzie's house. She's had her hair and makeup done. She's doing like an editorial shoot thing. And I have got to take over Pop Magazine's Instagram to take them from me getting ready all the way to going to the show. And I am very nervous. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, we've been sent all the Dior Beauty stuff to like, so the makeup artists can do the makeup for Lizzie. I'm just gonna do my own makeup. Um, so I'm halfway through that process. And then the hairstylist came and he was like, I was gonna slick my hair back with my look. Um, but he was like, no, it needs to be, I think you need to leave it like messy and beachy down, like cool girl. And I was like, it literally looks like I've been at the beach. It doesn't look clean. So, I don't know, I'm just going to try my outfit on. I'll show it to you before we go. I'll definitely take you along where I can. I'm, I feel like I do in the headlights is what I feel like. My shirt is like asymmetric, white, beautiful, and then like black trousers. It's like quite a smart, chic look. So actually, slick back hair might make me look like I'm off to the office. So we'll, we'll come back to that. But I've just got to finish doing bits of my makeup because I have to talk to Pop Sugar about that as well. So I'm just, I'm just going to, yeah. It's, I'm overwhelmed, but it's very lucky, very exciting, and so good being Lizzie get to do it together. But we're both just kind of pacing around the house, like, ah, we've never been to a Dior show before, and it's like the most high profile show ever. So, yeah, what a special, special day! And I'll be back in a bit. Hello, guys, I've had a change of plan with the upload. I am not going to be able to get this up in time if I take you along to the show tonight. So I'm just going to take you along to the show in, in next week's video. Um, and I'll show you my look and everything in next week's video. Sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but you can't wait. Um, but thank you so much for watching this week. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Very shift, very shifty little pace change from Costa Rica to New York. But yeah, next week's will be in New York and London and being back home and stuff. So yeah. Hopefully I'll see you then and there. And yeah, thank you so, so much. I'm gonna show you more of New York and more about, I went to the bookshop obviously earlier and chose my books. So I'll talk to you all about that later. But yeah, for now I'll sign off for this week and thank you so much for watching. And I'll be back next week with more chaotic stuff, but sadly, no surfing. <laughs>